you figure out what your asset allocation or time horizons are, and money is money. What do you think about the syndication and the lottery with the development at County Line? Developments, I would personally go to more of a stabilized cash flowing asset, especially if you're new to this type of world. You think of in deals in terms of risk adjusted returns, right? Stabilized assets is like buying an existing lemonade stand with existing profit and loss statements. You can see what it runs at where development is just a shot in the dark in a way. Technically, if you can build it, there's more margin room for error, but you have to wait a lot longer to see the egg hatch. The way I did it and the way I preach general wealth building to people is start off with singles and base hits. And in the syndication, that is more stabilized assets that give cash flow pretty quickly and have lighter value add. Or in the rental property world, for people under half a million dollars net worth, just go buy rental properties. One by one. That's how I did. Yeah, I think in my situation, though, I, I need to be a little bit more passive. I'm not going to go out and buy individual properties. That's right. what makes your multifamily deals attractive to me. Because yeah. Because I can be passive. I just have to say it because some ding dong who is a young kid is going to listen to this podcast <laughs> and then think they're going to go into an apartment deal and they have no money. And I, so I have to say that, mm. but yeah, if you're an accredited investor, in my opinion, people joke about this all the time in my groups. Can you really tell me any good reason to, to own a rental property that in your name, the headache, the fact that you're getting abused as a remote rental, let's not get started with all this burr stuff, right? But I think the general strategy is going into intermittent deals, spacing it out and just dollar cost averaging. Same technique they taught you with stock market investing. So my biggest challenge now is just negotiating it with my spouse because the conventional way to invest is just through these 401ks and these other vessels to invest. So I've got to convince her that this is going to pay off and be able to produce some passive income but yeah so my current deal is two years lagged you screwed I, yourself you shouldn't have done that man <laughs> i know I, I screwed myself but I, I think that county line project's gonna be fun to watch you know be a part of this is why i'm going back to the 401k because i think it's a good strategy with Horton negotiating with her that it's if i want to retire early let's use some of my retirement and not really hit the family which is just an emotional thing right whether it's yeah. retirement or money in your wallet it's all the money at the end of the day i think where people get gummed up they emotionally feel like the 401k roth ira that's your retirement and i even have like sophisticated investors earmarking things in their own mind that way too so i get it they think one is more long term one is more short term but to yeah. me it's all the same you figure out what your asset allocation or time horizons are, and money is money. This website offers very general information concerning real estate for investment purposes. Every investor situation is unique. Always seek the services of licensed third-party appraisers and inspectors to verify the value and condition of any property you intend to purchase. Use the services of professional title and escrow companies and licensed tax, investment, and or legal advisor before relying on any information contained herein. Information is not guaranteed as in every investment there is risk. The content found here is just my opinion and things change and I reserve the right to change my mind. Above all else, do your own analysis and think for yourself because in the end, you are the only person who is going to look out for your best interests.